In this problem, we're asked to consider a uniform thin rod that's just been impacted and given an angular velocity, omega 2. We're asked to find the linear and angular momentum about O for the rod and given the distances, masses, and so on. So we're asked for just after impact. So the rod should be in this, the position it's in and just starting to move and only the rod is what we're looking at. For linear momentum, we always find this using the velocity at the center of gravity. So for this rod, it's a uniform rod. There'll be a center of gravity, g. And we'll add our coordinate system as well. So we can write that j, linear momentum, which is a vector, equals m v g. In order to find v g, we have to determine the velocity here based on our kinematics. So we can write, we can write that v g is gonna be equal to v o plus omega two cross with r g with respect to o. V o O is a pin, so the velocity is zero. R of G with respect to O is going to be half the distance of the rod, L over two, in the minus J hat direction. So that's this vector, R G with respect to O. And then omega two, the rod's gonna turn in the positive K hat direction, omega two, positive K hat. So that means our VG is gonna be omega two K hat cross L over two in the minus J hat and we'll get omega two L over two in the I hat. If we substitute that into our expression for linear momentum, we find that J, the vector linear momentum is 3.3 kilograms times our expression for VG, 12 radians per second times 0 0.8 meters divided by two in the I hat direction. And our linear momentum is 15.84 kilograms meters per second in the I hat. We've been also asked to find the angular momentum. Now, much like moments, we have to specify where we're taking the angular momentum. And it is about O, the pin. Because O is a pin, we can use the simplified expression the angular momentum K about O is I O omega two. So we can say that I O for a rod from our tables is one third M L squared. And we've got an expression here for omega two. And therefore we can say that K O, the angular momentum about O is one third ML squared times omega two in the K hat direction. We'll put in our numbers. We get one third times 3.3 .3 kilograms times 0 0.8 meters squared times 12 rads per second in the K hat direction and our total angular momentum about O is gonna be 8.45 kilograms meters squared per second in the K hat. Thanks for watching this video. Find more videos and material at Mechanics Map.